Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you five different trippy, wavy, and melty visual effects for your next video or project. So we're going to go over echoes, mirror reflections, displacements, and hue color shifting effects. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of my new uploads, and leave a like on it below if you guys have been enjoying these videos. Also follow me on social media at Justin Odisho, like Instagram. If you're not, stay tuned with me and catch the live streams and behind the scenes. So I visualized that these effects look good at night with all these city lights, especially the mirror effects. So let's start by talking about the reflection mirror effect. So if we head over to the effects panel on the right hand side, let's search for one called mirror. You should find this in the distort video effects folder and I'll click and drag it onto any one of these clips. Now if you look in the effects control panel on the left hand side, you should have the mirror effect and you can adjust the reflection center and the reflection angle. So right now you can't see anything because the line is right here. But if I pull the X angle inward a little bit, you see what happens is it starts to create a mirror reflection. And this is a pretty common effect that you've probably seen in some music videos or just probably any project. And when I press play, it creates a cool effect when the camera is panning or tilting and things start to appear out of the center out of nowhere, kind of like a kaleidoscope. The cool part is you can adjust the reflection angle so you can tilt it on its side, but just avoid those black edges by adjusting the reflection center until you don't have any of the black edges. And you can take the mirror effect and apply it multiple times onto the same clip at different reflection angles to create some interesting kaleidoscope type of effects. So that's just two mirrors stacked on top of each other and you see how cool that looks with all the lights colliding. So experiment and play around with it on your own. Next, let's talk about the liquidy displacement effect. So if we search for one called turbulent displace, that'll also be in the distort folder. Let's click and drag that onto the clip. And there's a few things that we can adjust. So you can see it's already looking all bubbly and displaced, which kind of looks cool already. But one thing we can do is animate the evolution and play around with the amount and size. So this is the default 50 strength, but if we make it larger, we get more displacement. And if we adjust the size of the displacements, you can make the bubbles bigger or smaller and more ripple-like. Also, you can adjust the displacement type. So this is turbulent, but you can make it more twisty or turbulent smooth. And there's different options for you to experiment with as well. So one cool way that we can animate this is head over to the start of the clip, check the stopwatch icon to turn on keyframe animations, and let's start at zero, and by the end of the clip, let's make it evolve one full rotation in evolution. So now when I press play, you'll see not only is the clip displacing through these maps, the bubbles are also kind of waving up and down. So that can be an interesting, trippy visual effect to play around with. Next, let's talk about the echo effect. So if I search for one called echo, this is a really useful effect, and it plays around with the time and delay of the clip, and stacks them on top of each other in different blending modes. So let's click and drag this onto the clip, and you see the clip just looks like it got brighter. But what we can do is adjust the echo time so you can put it at a delay. So you can make the echo be a half a second off from the original, and you see what happens is the camera movement kind of catches up with itself and creates a little ghost trail effect. So if I just do minus one second apart, you can see there's a trail, but I don't want it to be as strong to where you can't tell the difference. So I'll turn the decay down to 0.5. So that means each echo, it'll get half as strong. Now I can do things like add two, three, or even four echoes, and you see how the trail starts to get longer. Do be careful, this is a kind of powerful effect, so you might have to do some previewing. You see here, everything's all red. That means it's gonna be a bit laggy on playback. One thing you can do is turn it down from full to a quarter and maybe you can help visualize a little bit better. Also, you can press enter to render the highlighted clip. It'll render a video preview so you can play it smoothly. Or you can use the shortcuts I and O on your keyboard to set an in and out point on your timeline and render that specific section. Another thing you can adjust about the echo effect is how the echoes are blending with each other. So by default, it's set to add, which gives you that bright effect. But you can also do things like maximum, which is kind of like lighter in Photoshop, or minimum, which is kind of like darken, and play around with these different blending modes to get different effects. So you see how that kind of looks. You get the ghost trails of the cars and the buildings, and it looks cool when there's some movement either with the camera or subjects in the frame. Let's switch over to the street shot here, and another cool effect that we can talk about 
is the color balance HLS switching that we can do. So if we go to color HLS, you should find it in the color correction folder. And if you click and drag that onto your clips, it allows you to adjust the hue, lightness, and saturation of a clip, just some basic color correcting. But what we can do is play around with the hue to get a rotating color effect. So one, if you like, you can just leave the hue shifted a little bit so it looks strange and off and more trippy. And you could leave it at like a purple weird hue. But if you want to rotate through them with animation, you can click on the stopwatch icon and then go to the end of the clip. And depending on how fast you want the colors to switch, you can make it go through a couple rotations of the hue color wheel. And you'll see what that looks like when you play back. So this could be an interesting effect to combine with some of the other trippy visual effects for maximum trippiness. But just be careful not to overdo all these effects all at once because it can get pretty melted. Lastly, for the fifth effect, and this is a pretty simple one, let's open up the video effects folder and in the distortion, let's find the lens distortion. So for example, when you shoot on a wide angle lens, sometimes the corners can get really stretched out, but we can use it as an abstract distortion by really just bending the corners of the clip way out and getting a kind of fisheye look. And when the drone shot is moving around through the city, it creates a cool look where things are coming in all warped from the edges. So this is another cool and really simple one that you can play around with and combine with the other effects. So those are five different trippy visual effects that you can do in Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to the channel here on YouTube to stay tuned for all of my future new videos. Go follow me on Instagram. I'd love to chat with you guys more on there at Justin Nodisho. And once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.